Hey guys, two weeks ago I posted a video talking about Charles Burney. Last week I posted a video of a Scarlatti Sonata. Today we are going to bring those two together and we are going to have a look at what Charles Burney said of Domenico Scarlatti. We know that uh, Burney met the castrato singer Farinelli in Bologna during his tour of Italy, which is written in this book here. And it seems that he was very much interested uh, to ask Farinelli, who lived with Scarlatti many years in Spain, uh, information about Domenico Scarlatti. And he said he gathered this information. I was somewhat disappointed that in his history of music, he didn't write so much about Domenico Scarlatti. I then found that Charles Burney, apart from the sources I quoted last time in the other video, which I link up here in case you haven't seen it, has uh, written music articles for the so-called Rees Cyclopedia, an encyclopedia that was uh, published in series at the beginning of the 19th century. So he took care of the musical articles there. And there is indeed uh, a lot of material there that is not part of his other writings, although a lot is recycled from there. There is some uh, material that is not, especially regarding the London music scene. There is a digital copy available online of the Recyclopedia, and I decided to have a look. If you search for Scarlatti, the name of Alessandro Scarlatti, the father of Domenico Scarlatti, comes up much more. And uh, it seems really that uh, Alessandro Scarlatti reached much more fame and respect during his lifetime compared to Domenico. Nevertheless, there is uh, an account here of Domenico Scarlatti, which also appears in the Bernie's music history, that is quite a, an interesting and nice story. Uh, whether it's true or not, who knows? Um, it involves another character called Thomas Rosengrave. So Thomas Rosengrave was a virtuoso harpsichordist uh, who was the first person to edit uh, Scarlatti sonatas and uh, he met Scarlatti. So, Rosengrave was a, a virtuoso, and I'm gonna read here actually on the, the paragraph that talks about Thomas Rosengrave, uh, written by Bernie for the Recyclopedia. It says that he was, let me find it. Yes, he was regarded as having a power of seizing the parts and spirit of a score and executing the most difficult music at sight beyond any musician in Europe. Indeed, it was said that he could read a music book if turned topsy-turvy. It seems that he was uh, very talented from early on, so he was sent uh, to Italy to, to study, and in Venice he was invited to a meeting in the house of a nobleman. Of course, People knowing that he was a virtuoso, he was asked to play, he sat at the harpsichord and played uh, apparently very well. He was very happy about uh, the way he played. And then there was uh, some more music and then after that a man, a, a young man dressed in black with a black wig, um, who was sitting in a corner, is asked to sit at the harpsichord. And you already know who that was. And that was uh, Domenico Scarlatti, of course. And so he played, and while this man played uh, Rosengrave, I'm gonna bring it up here because I forget. Uh, he believed that. Where is it? Oh, yes. 100 uh, devils had been uh, at the harpsichord and it seems that after that he didn't touch the harpsichord for a month well so this is a, a nice story certainly a story of effect you know we all think of Scarlatti of this incredible virtuoso uh, that was uh, almost like a superhuman, even be beyond the powers of this other incredible virtuoso. Um, I read some time ago an article that analyzes this account 
and uh, a little bit sense that is a little bit made up I mean there is no doubt that maybe Rosengrade and Scarlatti met and exchanged thoughts and, and knowledge uh, when Rosengrave was in Italy but it seems that this account could be a little bit of a made up story in any case is a story of effect another interesting article that is found in the Reed Cyclopedia which mentions Scarlatti is the article about uh, Monsignor Logier Logier was the principal physician to the imperial court at Vienna in 1772 the most intelligent and best informed critic among musical dilettanti with whom we ever converse. It seems that Scarlatti wrote 42 pieces for uh, Logier, and amongst these 42 pieces, several slow movements. And the reason given for that is that Scarlatti was at the time old and too fat to be able to cross his hands as he used to do in his younger years. This is an interesting thing because in I don't remember if it is in the tour of Italy or in the music history probably the story is repeated in both when Bernie talks about Tartini the famous uh, violinist uh, who composed the devil's trill if I'm not wrong it seemed that uh, Tartini also was in an incredible virtuoso and then towards the end of his life his style changed to focus more on expression i just wanted to share with you this information if you find it interesting you can find all of uh, bernie's writings online just do a search and uh, you will find it right so let's see you next week